Hello everyone and welcome back to the text channel. So in the last couple of sessions, uh, we uh, get to know how we can install this. Uh, I mean, how we can get the uh, SAP BTP cockpit and how we can uh, get the access trial version for this app build process automation. And after that, we discussed the desktop agent, how we can install this desktop agent and how we can activate that agent. So now everything setup has done. So one step I has missed. So once you install this, uh, what is this? SAP desktop now so you can see this this is unregistered okay why it's unregistered means uh, you need to activate it so why it's not getting okay let me delete this and uh, i will add uh, one more time okay so once we've done this so we need to add uh, activate it so then only we will get to know that if you not activate it you will get the things i mean you are not able to run this automation so for activating i am doing this uh, research here so just go to control towards and click on the agents after that anyway you know this one how we can get this url so just uh, click at this and add this domain okay just click on that save and after this we can see this activate so by default it will get activate sometimes if it is not activate so we need to go and activate that uh, right now i'm not sure why it's not uh, highlighting this okay now okay this step has done let me check Okay, edit validating in process okay that's fine so if still if it is not getting right way so just restart this connection so then you will get this activate option so right now i'm not get the activate option so yeah so now it's uh, go to that particular url and it will activating the thing so just update your uh, mail id So this is my mail ID and you need to update his password as well. Okay, once you updated these two things, uh, we'll go back to this uh, agent and we'll check that. Okay, the agent should be the activate. So if it is not activated, uh, you cannot get anything. So now login has successful and just refresh here okay once you refresh here you can able to see one line item so which has activated so this is the my uh, uh, agent okay so the agent is nothing but as a just uh, like a bridge it connected to the uh, desktop and the cloud so just integrated with those uh, those two things and you can able to run this automation okay now this is done i am going back to the lobby in lobby only we have the projects okay just i'm um, click this uh, project so every time once you click on this uh, it will navigate to the another page so by default it will navigate to, navigate to the another page okay now this is done once you come here go to the settings if you want to run the automation here also we need to do one thing okay so just select here tech stack and give this your domain okay so this is the one step once you've done these things now just try to run okay still if you are getting error okay now there is no error. still if you are getting any error on this particular things just uh, delete all the things okay we just delete all the things and go and try this Re recreate the entire the process it will work okay now i will just click on this test okay now it will run this automation and we can see this what type of it's done how the things are going here okay now this is done so automation has been done you can just see the uh, pop-up box here and you can see this test console this is the thing so all are you are getting in the format of json format if you check here let me drag up okay let me drag up okay if you check here so all this in the format of json you can see so this is the my inputs which i give from this automation okay so when you want to do the some traces here so just click on this log and we can see this what some message i given and what type of it's uh, it's a key and having info these all the things are available so the parameters which i given is parameters and the test term so this is the what i given this message and advanced here it's not required so if you have multiple things i will show you for multiple things mm. log message i'm taking one more log message okay just click here and running again just i updated the some statement there so now if you can see this these two things are there okay so log message log message one if you give the same name also it will work i think no issue 
yeah you can give this as per your requirements and just click on this again if you want to uh, debug mode uh, just click this uh, uh, the red car i mean the circle thing is you know just click on add breakpoint where you want you can add this breakpoint so you can see this if you want to remove you can just remove from here or else you can just click again uh, it will got removed okay now again i will run this so before running uh, it will ask the all the saves but one thing i want to uh, make sure that when you done anything here so please save that if you not save this automatically sometimes uh, it will re refresh the page that time the code will collapse so make sure that when you uh, done having anything even small change also make sure that you can just save it okay as of now i will go with the different flow because anyway this is a some practice only now so i will go in different way so now it will save all the uh, all the changes and here it will ask this test automation okay just click on this test so it will initialization by initializing you can go to here and you can check it got downloading that package so that package is downloading to our machine and it's uh, uh it's running up from our machine okay from our machine is cloud set it's just con uh, connecting inter between the both of these and you can see these two um informations are there you can just go or you can see this anything is fine so one is a one first my program and running again so like this we can add the things going forward we'll try to learn one a uh, lot of the things so if you want you can release this automation this also will learn uh, how we can run attended more those things we'll check if possible i can do the videos those as well if you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it make sure to hit that like button share with your friends subscribe to our channel and don't forget to turn off notifications so you never miss an upload